Hey guys! So it is officially December, almost the end of the year, and I have finished, I think, my final mini uh, art journal for the year, which brings my total up to, I think, four? Not 100% sure. I did already start the next one, but it'll definitely not be done before the end of the year, so I figured I would do a quick flip through of this one uh, to finish off the year and uh, show you guys what's inside. So this was the Field Notes, um, I think it was called the West Coast Maps series, not 100% sure. Uh, so let's get started. Um, this is just my opening page. Used a bunch of washi tape uh, for the background and uh, ended up with, I got a sticker from something that I decided to put into that first page. And um, another moth page. I feel like now it's becoming a tradition and there's going to be one in every single mini art journal that I do. <laughs> uh, I also decided to try more of the um, cutout poetry um, that I did from the first two from the last video I showed you guys. So again, I just basically cut up like sentences from um, I think of some children's books and decided to kind of rearrange them until they sort of made sense. Uh, and even though it doesn't quite always make sense, it still kind of has the same feeling, which I kind of always really like. And you guys from the last video seem to enjoy that as well. So um, here's another one. And this one has, this book has a lot more like doodles and sketches. I really got into pencil drawings this time around. So there's a couple of them in here as well as my larger art journals as well. Uh, they were definitely very different from what I've done before. So they were very interesting to, uh, to work with. And also all the doodles kind of fit into these little mini books. So that's kind of perfect. <laughs> this one was uh, just ink. I got one of the... I think it was a Tombow, I forget, I can't pronounce it because it's, I think, in Japanese, but it was the dual tip black with gray and decided to test it out with a little drawing on this page here. This is, especially now that it's the holidays, this page is really relevant. Uh, for all the holiday parties, I just, I, I can't, I can't do big parties. I did it tons when I was younger and I'm... I can't do it anymore. It's socially exhausting and I can never do it. So whenever I have to host a party, which is very, very rare, um, I always just straight up tell people, you got to be out of here by this time. I, I, I'm, I'm, it's, it's over at this point. So you got to go, <laughs> you know? Maybe I'm just very introverted. I'm definitely very introverted, actually. So, um, This one, I posted a picture of this when I finished this page um, on my Instagram stories, and a lot of people really liked it. Uh, I do want to mention, though, that I didn't draw this. This was a cutout from a magazine, so I, a couple people were like, oh my god, this is amazing art, and I was like, it is not mine. Please know that. <laughs> so just a heads up. But I do really, really like it. So, um, This page, I decided to keep it blank. I just really love the like gentle feel of it. And I think it's really cool. I feel like it's a little snapshot of a moment and I didn't really want to ruin it by adding anything to it. So decided to keep it the way it is. So if you can see, there's a little person on the bridge there. Here's another one of the pencil drawings. And <laughs> me. This is a quote by Trista Matier, one of my favorite poets of all time. Um, I've had this line in my, like, to-do or to-use list for, I don't even know how long, like a year. It's one of my favorite lines from her poems, and she's absolutely incredible, so definitely go check her out if you do enjoy poetry. She's, hands down, one of the best. Um, this one, I pay, therefore I am. It was a quote that someone mentioned um, about the state of, like, essentially uh, consumerism and how your identity is based off of your purchasing and all that kind of thing and it it runs off of the um, I think therefore I am quote uh, and I just I loved it and it worked really well with what I had going on already so yeah this one if you only knew deeply and thoughtfully how people don't Sorry, I can't quite see it behind my camera. How people don't think so much about what you do wrong, you wouldn't be killing yourself for the pursuit of perfection, but rather healing yourself for the pursuit of progress. That one really, really kicked me right in the heart. It's, it's honestly, it's so true. So very, very true. 
This was a quote by Guillermo del Toro. Um, I think this was in his acceptance speech for, um, I think it was either the Golden Globe or the Oscar for his latest film, The Shape of Water. And I love him to death. He's the reason I got into art journaling from way back when. So I think it was kind of fitting. And I've also had it kind of sitting for a while. And super fun fact, this uh, was using the my latest typewriter, which I got from my coworker, and it's a German typewriter, so it was really fun to, to test it out, use it, and as you can see, it works really well, so really excellent condition. I don't really like this page. I wish the execution was better, but it is what it is. Um, I don't like reality TV. That's the basis of that page. You can kind of see there's a person in the middle. Sort of ended up right, right on the seam, which I'm not really crazy about, but it is what it is. I actually wrote a poem based off of this. I haven't posted it yet because it's terrifying to post poetry, but... Hmm. Um, and here's some more of that cutout poetry. This one was, it became, I, I, I put it all together and I realized it was kind of boring. <laughs> I became fascinated with the power of music. I mean, it almost sounds like it should be a sentence, so it doesn't really interest me as much. I don't know, but it, I still, you know, I still kind of like it. It's just, um, it's not quite as fun as my other ones with the cutout poetry. And this page, this was the last page in this mini journal. I've had, it, it's been sitting there on my desk to be like finished for I don't even know how long. I had this page and one other and I finished that one. And I sat there staring at this page for like, I don't know, seven minutes going, I have no idea what I want to put here. And the only thing that I could think of was just how much I hate figs. Um, don't ask me where that thought came from. I've never liked figs. I don't like them. Um, I just was thinking and on a stream of consciousness decided that's what needs to be in this final page. So, <laughs> so there you go. I mean, it's a, it's a little sort of junk journal. It's a collection and a pasting of a bunch of different things. And as my other video, I basically use this for notes, uh, before I kind of converted it into an art journal and, uh, and then turned it into that. So each page is pasted over, cut over, and you can see each page is super hard because of all the glue. <laughs> So yeah, so this is going to be the last mini journal of 2018, and I've got two more. One of them is already about halfway finished. Um, that will be coming up soon, so there it is. I hope you liked it, and uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite page was. See you guys!